Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Now 911. Uh, today, one more topic with respect to CMDB, which is CI relation rollups. This is very important topic, and it will be mostly useful uh, for all of us. Okay. So, first of all, what is CI relation rollups? Let me give you one example. Let's say you have a parent CI, which is a rack, and in that rack there are n number of servers. You want certain calculations, certain aggregations from these childs into the parent. For example, power consumption. How much power is being consumed by this child and you want that number within the parent. And based on uh, this number which you get on the parent, you may do a number of things. You may do reporting. You may uh, trigger certain notification if the power consumption is going uh, like uh, high from a particular number. Okay. So this is the use of this uh, CI relation rollup. So what is CI relation rollup? It is some of the calculations, some of the aggregations from the child within the parent. Okay, so let me show you on the screen. First of all, let's uh, share my screen. As it is a part of relationship, you see CI relationship rollups here. Click on it. So you see under CI relationship rollup table, you have all these out of box rollups. Let me open one of it. This is very simple. You see, first of all, you have to provide the relationship. Like in which relationship type you are doing this, okay? And then you have to select the aggregation type. Here and number of types are available. Like count, maximum, mean, minimum, and sum. So I want to do the sum. And then you have to provide the parent field, that is power consumption. So this parent field signifies the name of the field from the parent where you want to store the result, right? Okay, and then we have child field, like from where this calculation will come. Obviously, it will come from child. So you have to provide the child field here. For the time being, under this, we have model ID dot power consumption. So you have to provide the name of that field where individual numbers are stored. Let's say in this case, individual power consumption values are stored. So the same I have provided on the child field, model ID dot power consumption. And then finally, we have the rollup class like uh, from this relationship which class you want to identify like from which class we have to pick up the child so here we have decided that in racks in a particular rack pick up the roll up class as server class so the child will come from server class which is mentioned here if you have child from n number of classes you can specify that for each and every class whatever you choose okay so here we have provided the roll up class so like this we have n number of relationship roll ups okay so like uh, you see under model ID dot rack units. So we are calculating the rack units as well. So now let me show you one of the record of uh, that particular rack. You see, this is one of the rack. Okay. Here you see the power consumption, rack units, rack unit in use. So you can define a number of things like that whenever you need some calculation from child to parent. Okay. And then you can do reporting, you can uh, set up notifications and all such uh, beneficiary stuff. So here you see it has two servers, database server one, database server two. So based on this, the calculations are happening. So when you check this in the uh, you know documentation, you will see two business rules. So you have to activate these two business rules if they are not in order to do all such calculations. So these are the two business rules, CMDB sync event and CMDB relationship sync event okay so just focus on these two business rules which are on cmdb and ci relationship table uh once these are active then you have to activate the insert and update based on your choice so once you are done then you will be able to configure this uh, ci relationship rule it is a very powerful thing you can do very you know useful stuff by utilizing this concept by utilizing this utility so i hope you got it if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you so much bye bye